hey guys i'm rachel welcome back to my channel my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back 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 welcome back welcome back welcome back 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 <laughs> so today i have this look where i'm showing you a easy way to apply some color to your makeup look to your makeup routine if you're someone who who's intimidated by color and things like that because i know color can be very intimidating and um you probably don't know how to use it how to apply it i do have a couple of other looks like that on my channel so you can scroll through or I'll try to link them in the description box as well but this is a look that i came up with so i hope you enjoy i like the way it turned out so if you want to see how i did that let's have to it. one more thing i also want to apologize i just uploaded a video last week but you know what life happens it just i just didn't upload one that's my excuse so video in one two three okay so let's get started so i already primed my eyes with my concealer and i just set it with a little bit of powder i'm um, just gonna take off any creasing that happened so i like setting my base first it's my preference but i didn't go crazy with it because i still wanted to have just a little bit of tack to it to grab the shadow a bit so that's just my preference some people don't like setting the primer some people do it just comes down to personal preference like i always say what do i always say makeup is freaking personal there's just no getting around it so i'm gonna start with my juvia's saharan 2 palette i'm gonna take this reddish color it's called zora on this morphe m441 blending brush and I'm gonna start to apply this in my crease lightly like tapping the color into my crease and then I'm starting to blend I'm not dipping back into the pan I'm just blending and these colors are very 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 pigmented and if you feel like you picked up way too much a product all you can do is um, I usually have like a towel on me or paper towel or something and just slightly wipe the brush off so you don't have much pigment left and you go back into blending. So I am blending this in windshield wiper motions first and taking very small circular motions to diffuse the edges so that it's not that harsh. And I'm looking directly into my mirror like I'm not doing anything I'm just looking straight because I do have a slightly hooded eyes so I want you to see the color picking through when my eyes are open as well so I like leaving my eyes this blood clot ear a walk one so I like looking forward and blending so I can see how high I want this color to go and I'm really really blending I did not go back into the color I'm just using what's on the brush and what's on my eyes and really blending and diffusing because I don't want it to be too harsh because that's what the color is going to come in into the eye look so really really blend and buff it off and make sure it shows and we should have something like this right now it's really diffused and blown out that's what I want and this is the brush that I use for this. I mentioned this in my brushes video. My, the video did so well. Some of my videos did so well on YouTube. They're doing so good. I'm so happy. So um, I did mention this in my video. So if you didn't look at it, check it out. Now I'm switching the brush to the M443 brush. It's still a blending brush, but it's denser. And I'm taking the same color and I'm gonna apply that directly in my crease. Tap the excess off, because like I said, it's very pigmented. It's very important to work with in layers when you're using uh, products, when you're using shadows with color, work in layers and build, because you can always add pigment, but it's always very difficult to take pigment away. So I'm using this brush and I'm gonna deepen the color. That is the reason why I switch my brushes. The first one blew the color out. It gave me this blown out look. Now I'm using this one to deepen the color. I basically used the same color but different brushes 
and they're giving me a different effect there's one blow the color out and the other one is packing it on and giving me more definition and that's what building shadows are all about it's all about creating gradients and it always comes down to your tools so i'm using the same color but i'm getting a different payout because of the brushes that i'm using all right so just to add us a tad bit more of definition i'm using another blending brush but this one is more pointed and i'm just grabbing a little bit of this brown this sort of reddish brown it's called fez and um tapping the excess off and i'm just adding it in my crease too just to give a little more definition create more dimension deepen up the red just a little bit and I'm using this brush because it comes to a peak and it's getting directly in my crease but still allowing me to blend and to keep it as low as I want it because I don't want to go too high with it I don't want to lose the work that I did I still want the red to show so we're just creating just a little bit of definition so i did not mention hey guys i'm starting off with just my eyes i'm just doing my eyes today clearly you can see it's just my eyes i'm doing today um i did my face off camera because i just wanted to focus on the eye look that is pretty obvious i just feel like i should have mentioned it and i forgot so i mentioned it now i'm taking the color hadia it's this color right here it's a coppery color and i like using sort of colors like that on my lid when I'm using a color in my crease I've just been loving using those sort of bright cooler colors in my crease um, a lot I just like the way it looks when I add this sort of um, warmer color on my lid and you could of course go in with something that's more matte and build it up and you know it all depends on the look that you're going for but I love the contrast of a shimmer on the lid with the bright uh, crease color So I'm just packing on this color with a synthetic brush. This is a Morphe M124. I'm taking it all the way into the inner corners as well. And I'm, I'm going back with my M433 brush and I'm taking a little bit of this color, the reddish one and the brownish one. And I'm gonna mesh those two colors together. I'm gonna mesh the shimmer color and the transitions colors, the transitions the transition colors together so that it's not that harsh because I'm not trying to create any cut crease or anything like that I just want something effortless <laughs> and there we have it easy peasy very simple way of adding color to your eyes so at this point you could add some more definition to your eye look by bringing a little darker color and I always like bringing in darkness to my eyes I just like the look of it so you could just maybe use like the deeper brown or a black and um, with a smudger brush and just add something to your very close to your lashes to create definition it's very subtle but it's gonna create some definition if you want to create something more dramatic you can add like a wing so I'm gonna add a wing I'm just gonna go dramatic today and I'm gonna add a wing All right, so I totally failed at applying a wing on camera it's just so difficult because wings takes focus and I feel like they smell fair so it's very difficult for me to apply a wing on camera but I did apply a wing and I love the look of that so far. All right, so now that I have this, you can go in with the same transition color to your bottom lashes. You can use black, maybe you could use another color if you wanna create some sort of contrast, but I am going to leave mine like that. I'm just gonna add some mascara and I'm gonna do some lashes. So I'm gonna prep my lashes for that and be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I did my mascara and I added my Kiss um, So With Speed number three. I love the Kiss lashes, they are pretty inexpensive this one is my favorite in number three in the wispy uh, line I love it and I'm gonna set my face with a little bit of Morphe <coughs> bright idea Rachel talk and spray speak and spray speak and spray talk and spray why not why not hmm. anywho <laughs> lips my um BFF3 lip liner. I'm gonna line my lip with that. Then I'm gonna use BFF4 and sort of outline the first line that I did. So 
or I have this. Then I'm taking my Superstay Matte Ink Maybelline uh, Driver. Driver! Don't stop at all. Hmm. I've come to the conclusion that I hate brows and I hate lips. I love lip products, but I hate to do my brows and I hate applying my lipsticks. I swear. I really do. I'm just using some Neat Freak Gloss on Colourpop and I'm just going to top that over. Okay, and so there we have it. The completed look of my another way to add some color into your makeup routine and as you can see it is not harsh it's not in your face um i kept the crease with the color but i kept my my lids pretty neutral i didn't go bright so it's not anything to be like have anyone staring at you and looking at you crazy and wondering what's going on in your eyes or anything like that i kept my bottom lashes free of color so if you're someone who just does really intimidated by color not adding anything to your bottom lashes uh, probably a nice way to keep it as simple as possible and to not um, make you uncomfortable with so much color on your eyes. So this is the completed look. If you're hearing any noise, like that probably is a fan and plus I'm living close to the highway. I'm hot as hell and I do not like AC. So I have my fan just directly blowing on me. So that's probably the noise you're hearing in the background. So I um, please excuse that, please. So yeah, so that's a completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, mini tutorial. And hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. Everything I use will be in the description box as usual. All my social media links, how to book me. I am a nail tech and a working makeup artist out here in Brooklyn. So everything will be in the description box. Follow me on my platforms, see my work. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Help me grow here on this platform. In the meantime, let's continue to touch the world one face at a time. And I'll see you in my next tutorial next week. <laughs> Bye guys.